Hey everybody. Um, I just wanted to make this video to show you the groggy side of taking medication. I was actually fine yesterday and I felt a little groggy but not like I do today. I, I feel very very slow and just not like my usual self at all. I kind of feel like I'm disassociating a little bit. Like I'm here sitting in my truck and you're there watching this video in between there's like it's like all these see-through curtains or something and I have to try to find my way through to make it it's um it's not fun when you're adjusting to new meds that make you groggy but I have trouble sleeping. I mean, severe trouble sleeping. I mean, I go into mania, like on the switch of a f um, flip. Oh my God, I can't even talk. My, I'm having trouble concentrating, I apologize. At the flip of a switch. And I need something that helps me sleep. I have always had sleep problems ever since I was a kid and without having something to help me sleep, I don't, like, even if I fall asleep, I don't really, I don't sleep sleep. I, I wake up very, on, you know, any sound that is out of the ordinary, I wake up on, and that's quite annoying because you are very tired all the time. But when I'm not tired, and I don't have a lot of sleep, I start to become hypomanic and then manic, which isn't good, but I'm, I went to school, I went to, sorry, I went to class this morning, and my professor has worked in the field of mental health, and she noticed that I was kind of stiff when I moved, I didn't move a lot. My facial expression was just kind of like I didn't have one. You know, she, she noticed all these different things. And I talked to her about my situation. I just told her what was going on after class. And, and she was very supportive and helpful. I'm sorry if I keep like blinking. I'm trying very hard to keep my eyes open. I'm driving right now. I'm actually going to get dinner. We're gonna have, um, oh my God, fried haddock. Haven't had fried haddock in a long, long time. And I'm kind of in the mood for fish and fish is good brain food. So maybe that's all the problem is. People aren't getting enough fish in their diet. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? But yeah, I'm tired. I feel like I want to fall asleep. I got nine hours of sleep last night. I took my meds at eight o'clock. I went to bed at nine. I fell asleep and I woke up at six. I got nine hours of sleep and I still feel like, it's just, it, it's, I can feel it. It's in my face and just everywhere. I can just feel it. So, that's kind of where I'm at today, on the bipolar end of things, the medication side. I actually have a new appointment. Um, I was seeing my, the counselor I was seeing left the, pra left, uh, the counseling center where I go 
she has her own private practice and she wanted to be closer to her home and do more full-time work at that so she left and we have a new therapist and her name well I'm not gonna say her name but I have an appointment with her on Friday the 13th <laughs> I think that's kind of funny if you believe in that whole thing I don't know <laughs> I don't even know if I'm making sense but yeah all right so I'm feeling groggy oh and also not just the the professor one of the students in my class noticed that I had slower speech she said I wasn't my normal bubbly self because normally when I'm in class I participate a lot I'm very talkative like when I'm when I'm stable and and where I need to be I participate I I ask questions you know and today I just kind of sat there I asked like two maybe two maybe three questions but they were it was very hard for me to concentrate to get them out and I kind of stuttered I'm like um the 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 the, the, the you know trying to ask a question that normally I wouldn't have any problems doing and I didn't move really like I could feel it I can feel it now I mean yes I'm driving but <laughs> all you gotta do is sit and move your foot back and forth to drive <laughs> it's not that difficult I hope this feeling does go away I hope this is just because it's new and my body hasn't you know gotten used to it yet I, I like to give meds at the very minimum 30 days to start working and at the maximum I like to give them like four months because it, it's it, you're changing the chemicals in your brain so I like to give my body time to adjust So I'm actually almost at the place where I'm going, so I'm gonna say goodbye, but I just wanted to make this video just for further documentation. Alright guys, 